Alison. I'm Allison. Hi, Allison. And you're here with your two sisters, and over here we have... Carly. Hi, Carly. And over here we have... Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Did you grow up in Hull? Yeah. You did? Have you been here all your life? Yeah. Okay, and did you go to... So you went to the Hull schools? Um, I did for kindergarten, and then I went to the charter school when it opened. Do you have any special skills you learned that you really like? Um... I like art. Art? Okay, yeah. that's fantastic. Ask who's your best friend. Um, my best friend is a friend named Hannah. Oh, but not your sister <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, how about any boyfriends? No. No, no boyfriends. Okay. Um, how about college? Any plans to attend college? Or? Yeah. Yeah. When I can. Okay, and what would you like to study? Um. I think I want to go into the culinary arts. The culinary arts? Okay, yeah. so you want to be a chef? Mm hmm Okay, any idea what school you might want to go to? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet? Okay, great. How about TV shows? What are your favorite TV shows? Um, we watch Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy? Okay, yeah. that's fantastic. And I'm going to actually divert you to that picture over there of you with Steven Tyler. Yeah. Okay, you want to tell me a little bit about that day? Um, it was Easter, and we went to an Easter egg hunt. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And um, my friend Donna Green's farm. Yeah. She has a foundation called the Magical Moon Foundation. Okay. So he came as part of the ceremonies and festivities. So what did you think of Steven Tyler? He was cool. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. Okay, did you get a chance to talk to him a little bit? Anything, anything interesting that he had to say? Um. I don't know, everything was pretty interesting <laughs> really? Did he sing? Um, yeah, he did. What there song? Was, there was a girl there who sang Amazing Grace and everybody joined in, so he was singing Amazing Grace. A little bit about when you were first, you were first diagnosed, and tell me the name of the disease. It's um, Acute Lymphoblastic Leukemia, okay. or ALL. And how long ago were you first diagnosed? Um, February of 2004. February of 04. How old were you then? 15. 15. And what were the symptoms? I mean, how did they... Um, I had really unusual symptoms at first. Like, I just had really bad headaches a lot, and um, my joints would ache, and we went to my doctor, and it would be like, it would sound like the flu, and so we went back and forth with that for a while, and then I had a blood test, and it was kind of off, so they sent me to a specialist at the hospital. Okay. And you got the diagnosis. And what was that like, getting that diagnosis? Um, not great. No. Went to Tell me about your, when you were first treated. Do you feel comfortable telling me about that first treatment, what you went through? Um, well, I went in for when you first get treated with the chemo, I, you go in for a month. Okay. And so they can keep an eye on you and see how you do with it. And um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And, but it was, wasn't fun. <laughs> no, 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 no. Everybody could come to visit and we had all these posters and stuff in my room. And, um, posters of? Uh, people would make me get well posters. Oh, that's great. I had one for my basketball team and... Wonderful. Oh, now you see, you didn't tell me about basketball. Yeah. Well, see, I asked about hobbies that didn't come up. <laughs> okay. <nice>. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. don't play anymore, but yeah, uh, I used to play at our school. We weren't very good, but we had a lot of fun. <laughs> That's fantastic. So what happened? I mean, what? how did you find out? Um, I had a spinal tap. Okay. Right, the first time? A routine. Yeah. So a routine spinal tap just to spinal see how you were doing. Too. Right. And uh, there is some cancer cells in my spinal fluid. Oh, so sorry. I really am. So now um, I know that there is a blood donor drive coming up for you. Um, I think it's next, the, a week from Thursday, right? At Wall Street? The 25th. Yeah. And a friend of ours put it together. What is your friend's name? Vinnie Hart and Asunta Perez. Okay. You're going to have to explain this. There's some sort of a cord that's good enough but not a perfect match. Can you explain that a little bit? You can get, when you get a bone marrow tra transplant, you 
are getting stem cells. Mm -hmm. So there's three ways you could have a donor. You could have a donor, a person who donates bone marrow, mm -hmm. or you could have a person and you could get the cells through their blood, or you could get the cells from an umbilical cord okay. that somebody donates after they have a baby and it's in the bank and they freeze it. So that right now, there is one for you right now. So mm -hmm. you're planning to have this procedure and it's actually a blood transfusion type of procedure yeah. in November. So um, you have one of those cords and it's considered good enough, but it's not a perfect match at this point. Right. And that's why we're hoping to have a blood drive and we're hoping that we'll actually find a perfect match. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> that would be even a little bit better. <laughs> for um, she'll have radiation for two and a half weeks. That starts tomorrow. That starts tomorrow. Okay. And there is some chemotherapy um, during that time period. Okay. And then there's um, a 10 day preparation period where there's a lot of tests, okay. um, additional radiation, and chemotherapy. Because pretty much what they're doing in the transplant is they're killing off her immune system. Right, and right. then we'll replace it. Then you have to rebuild with it. Someone else's, right? And hopefully yeah. that will um, will take. And and this is this the, so similar to the same procedure she went through before? No. Oh, no, okay. It's so not. it's different. She's been in treatment. She's had chemotherapy and radiation, but it's um, it's this will be completely different from what she's had before the so transplant. She's never had the transplant. Oh, and, um, okay. So the transplant's new. Okay. Yeah. So. We say three times a charm, so hopefully this will be it. <laughs>